Hey, fellow problem solvers, Colfax Math here. The way you learn how to juggle is practice. The way you do well on a standardized math exam is practice. So you need to do these problems alongside of me. Make sure you have your notebook and pencil out. Pause the video, do the problems before I do them. Unpause the video, watch how I do them. These are 10 AFOQT, arithmetic reasoning math problems. There's quite a few tricks here. It is a timed math exam coupled with the fact you cannot use a calculator, so you have to do a lot of reasoning. The AFOQT test is for the officer qualifying test for the Air Force. There's really a lot to this. I would talk to your recruiter. I'm no military expert. What I do a lot of is I teach math. So there are 12 components to this exam. I'm not going over all of them. In fact, in this video, I am only going to go over one, the arithmetic reasoning portion of the AFOQT exam. These are great for the ASVAB exam as well. These problems are not that dissimilar to any of the ASVAB military placement exams in the arithmetic reasoning portion. So with that said, go ahead and pause the video. Try this problem, unpause the video, watch how I do it. First thing I do is I mark up the paragraph. A pilot flies a plane at a speed of 240, so that's a rate, and this is a time for two hours and 45 minutes. 45 minutes is 0.75 of an hour, so 2.75 of an hour. It's arithmetic reasoning. Let me see if I can reason my way through this. If I'm going 240 miles per hour, for two hours, I will go 480 miles. If I were going 240 miles per hour for three hours, I would do three times 240 and get 720. I am not going two or three hours, so I'm going to cross out those two answers. That leaves me with two answers remaining, but I am three quarters of the way between here and here. This 45 minutes is 0.75, so I'm three quarters of the way between here and here. So which value between these two is closer to this one? Answer D. So a correct answer is answer D. That's why it's called arithmetic reasoning. Without a calculator, how to reason your way through these problems. Let's move on to the next one. Again, pause the video. Watch how I do it. Unpause the video um, and see. The Air Force squadron needs to transport 750 pounds of equipment. The transport can carry 150 pounds per trip. What is the minimum number of trips to transport all of it? First thing I'll do is I'll just drop a zero off of each. I am max is 750, this amount per trip. So it's going to be 75 divided by 15. Five trips, answer C right there. Okay, problem number three, go ahead and pause the video, give it a try. I think this one's actually kind of hard. A team of five cadets can complete a task in 12 hours. So it's five people in 12 hours. So I'm gonna do five times 12 to get 60 man hours. So the number of people times the number of hours to get the total number of man hours. The team is now increased to eight cadets, so from five I go to eight. Well, if I have eight people doing 60 man hours of work, how long will that take? So I want to know how many times eight will go in at 60. It'll go in there seven times. I don't even have to go any further than that. Only answer up there with a seven in it is going to be this one. Let me just finish it anyway. Eight times seven is 56. Bring down the four. This is seven and four eighths, or seven and a half right there. I know that I got more people doing the job. If I was in 12 hours, it has to be less. So I could have eliminated these answers to start with. Okay, moving on to problem number four right here. Pause the video, give it a try. A rectangle has a length of 14 and a width of eight. What is the perimeter? So the important word right here is perimeter. That is not how much goes inside the box. It's how long it is along the outside. 
Well, I know this side is the same as that side, this side the same as that side. So if I do 8 plus 14, 22, that's these two, 22 doubles are these two. So 22 and 22 give me 44 inches. Correct answer, answer B. Problem number five. These as well are a little tricky. A jet fuel tank is 60% full. First thing I'm going to do is convert that to a decimal. I think it is error going over 1, 2. This is 0.6. It is 0.6 full. It contains 3,000 gallons. What's the total capacity? So I have the total capacity times 0.6 equals 3,000. Well, I know it's got to be, it can't be this one. I could eliminate that. So it's going to be some amount. I don't know what that is. I'm going to call it x times that ratio of 0.6, and that's going to be equal to 3,000. I divide both sides by 0 0.6. 3,000 divided by 0 0.6. 6 goes into here five times. Only one up there with the 5 in it is b. I go straight to answer b. Correct answer. 5 times 6 gives me the 30. Bring down the zeros. It's 500 to move that decimal place over one more. 5,000 gallons. Correct answer. Answer B. Okay, number six. An aircraft is ascending at 1,500 feet per minute. How long will it take to reach an altitude of 36,000 feet? Well, I got feet divided by feet. My answer should all be minutes. First thing I'm going to do is just drop two zeros off of there and off of there. So now I want to know how many times does 15 go into 36? 15 goes into 36 twice to give me 30. There's only one answer up there. starts with the 2. has to be answer D. I'll finish the division here. 36 minus 30 is 6, 0, 15 into 64. Correct answer, 24 minutes right there. So a lot of these are just time-saving techniques as well. All right, problem number seven. A squad of eight soldiers is on a march. They have enough rations to last six days. Four more people are added. So I'm going from eight people to 12 people, right? Eight plus four gives me the 12, I go more. So I know with 12 more people eating the rations, the number of days have to go down. You gotta, it's gonna last less time. So I could cross out the eight and the nine. I'm gonna figure out how many soldier days I have. So I'm gonna do eight times six to get 48 soldier days or one soldier for 48 days. But now I have 12 soldiers, so 12 goes into 48 four times. Correct answer, answer D. Let me just kind of think this through again, right? I got eight soldiers with enough food for six days. There are four soldiers more, so now I got 12 soldiers. How many days does this have to go down by? Well, I'm going to figure out how much food I have for one soldier. How many days of rations do I have? So that gives me the 48. Then I have 12 soldiers, so that 48 divided by 12 gives me four days. All right, if you're still here, good job. Keep practicing, keep working at this. I know these aren't really that easy. The more you do, the better you get at them. Tank holds 2,500 gallons of water. Pump removes his water at 25 gallons per minute. How long will it take to empty the tank? So I'm just going to do the 2,500 divided by the 25, that's going to give me 100, right? 100 times 25 is 2,500. So that gives me 100 minutes, right? 100 minutes. I don't see that up here. 60 minutes to the hour. So 100 minutes is the equivalent of one hour, 40 minutes. All right, a couple more to go. A car travels at an average speed of 60 miles per hour. How long will it take to travel 210 miles? Well, let's do 60 times 3. In 3 hours, it'll go 180 miles. Let's do 60 times 4. 
and four hours will go 240 miles. Well, three and four are not 210, so I know it can't be that. 210 is in between these numbers, so my answer has to be between these numbers. My answer has to be between three and four, so it has to be three and a half. And finally, number 10, uh, supply truck is loaded with 1,200 pounds of gear. 30% of the gear is removed. This is a key word right here, how much gear remains. So I'm going to do 1 minus 30% to get 70%. I'm going to convert that into a decimal, 0 0.7. And then I'm going to take that 0 0.7 and multiply it by 1,200 to get 0, 0, 14, carry the 184. And then my decimal place is over 1 here to get a correct answer of 80, 840 pounds. Answer B. New to the channel, think about subscribing. The channel's all things math. I'm really working hard to make you as successful as possible on any standardized math exam. If you have any questions or comments, things I could do better or worse, uh, please go ahead and post them in, in the comments. I'll answer them as quick as I can. I do have a book for sale on the foundations of math. Um, all of that stuff is linked on my YouTube channel, Colfax Math. Thank you for watching.